Hey everybody, um, today's video is going to be about Pinky, my breast cancer awareness drone. I finally got my frame in today and uh, I'm going to attempt to do a video build. So this won't be a, um, a, a full video build. I'm not going to explain what I'm doing because like I said before, um, don't try this at home and I'm not promoting drone building. So this is just how I do it and uh, I'm gonna go from there. So this is one, one of my old frames. I really liked it a lot. And at the time, this was the only frame with anything pink on it, which is that piece that came with it. Um, it's been a good frame, but it's old, it's outdated, it's fragile and the parts is coming becoming hard to get by. So all the other things I got for it in the trash. And here's the frame that I'll be putting on it. It is the iFlight, here it is. I hope y'all can see that, but it is the iFlight SL5 HD. And I got the pink version, of course. That's what it'll look like. Yep. When it's all said and done. So yeah. There it is. Beautiful. Alright. Stay tuned. So. I got the new frame together. And I went ahead and put some stuff on here. To, to um spare some time. Like I said. This ain't a. Um, build video. Or a how to video. Cause I don't want to be responsible for anybody trying to build a drone and getting hurt. So, but what you can follow me on is putting these motors onto the ESCs, AKA transmission to some people. All right. So I'm about to get quiet because I can't talk and do this at the same time. Stay tuned. I may fast forward. I don't know, but here we go. I need some more light. There we go. I hope that ain't too bright for y'all. It's just right for me. Her her fit. Next.
pink sleeves to put around the ESCs and the capacitor and all the other stuff, make it look good. And this is how I build my good looking drones. All of my drones don't have like pretty coloring and sleeves and all that stuff. Just, just the ones that represent certain things like my breast cancer awareness drone and my um, Cinewhoop and my Hawk drone and my Ashley drone. Things with um, meaningful things behind it. So for those that don't know, this is how you put sleeves over things, whether that's ESCs or headphones or speaker wire, or whatever it is you're trying to do. And I learned that the trick is you want to squeeze it to make it bigger so it can um, get on through that. I hope this is the right size because it's shrinking. Is that good enough? Let's see. Good enough. And um, I take some heat shrink. I should have got all this prepared. Yeah, that'll do. I get a appropriate size. So basically I'm gonna cut it in half. Boom, boom, four. Okay, so I'm going to do this motor and then I'm going to do the other four, but in the meantime, I'm going to let my um, camera charge. So I'm going to show y'all how to, how to do this one. Then I'm going to plug in my camera so it can charge. And if you're an idiot like me and don't get the right size heat shrink, you just scratch it out, make it bigger. And once it gets bigger, then you can put that song in the chair. Or you may just have to get the right size. Come on, baby. Yeah. There we go. So then you just uh, put it over the end make it look good come on man what the fuck? there we go okay so i'll say about rot buyer take your heat gun heat it up And make sure you don't um, get your paint wire because it'll melt that up. I've done that before. Then just smush it. Voila, oh, that's hot. So then you uh, do it on the butt end. And of course you have to scratch it because you didn't get the right size freaking heat shrink. Mm -hmm. Come on. Get in there. There we go. Then you just uh about right there 
enough to hide that cap. There's one, and like I said, I'ma do the rest off camera. Let my camera charge, and I'll get back with you. Got one done. Um, this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay. Cut your wire to the right length. The reason why my yellow slash remote wire is long because this bad boy tends to shrink if you try to cut it to the right side. So I just left it alone to give me that little wiggle room. All right, now we're gonna go to the next one, which would be this one. Yeah, let's do that one. And that's what it will look like when you have all the motors put on there. Nice and clean, wires cut to the right length, and everything will be everything. Now, uh, let me explain to y'all what I got. My VTS for my um, goggles, my flight controller with a built-in PDB board for powering up the motors and everything else. Um, LED situation down here I'm gonna turn those colors into like a light pink to dark pink fluctuate with the um, throttle respond and got my crossfire set up antenna which would be the Fox here I don't have a so my camera will be here Friday um, one of my good buddy um, so Luke flow my drone and he said my camera suck. I'm sure most of my cameras on my drone sucks, but um, some drones I build and I try to do it as budget as possible. And to me, the camera is not a big deal um, because my main thing is make sure that my GoPro camera works so I can get that HD video. But anyway, he flew Pinky in his old form and he said that the camera suck and he recommended a camera that I actually bought and it'll be here Friday. So when that gets here, I'll put the camera on and continue this video. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and just button her on up, see what it looks like.
LED is done. And let me tell y'all something. It looks so freaking cool. Um, I, I don't know if this video is going to do it any justice, but um, those pink LED lights are bright as hell. And and I made these little windows so when it's flying, it kind of look through that. But anyway, here we go. Here we go. Look at that. And they change with the throttle. But I don't want them to go to blue and whatever color that is, green. I want it to stay like a like a light pink up to dark pink. But that's something I can work on. But anyway, look at that. Isn't that cool? Wow. I love LEDs. Anyway, um, the next follow-up will be the camera. And that'll be it. I'll put the whole thing together and take some photos. Hey, everybody. It Friday. is Friday, and I finally have my camera. This here is the Foxier Predator 5. And I heard it's a pretty good camera. Sure costs a pretty good penny. All right. <clears throat> Because my factory um, run cam connection won't fit to my Fox here, I'm gonna have to make some modifications. So bear with me. Take out the power. Make sure y'all don't try this at home. Cause what I'm doing is dangerous. I don't have gloves on or anything. Which is about there for me. Alright. Now we got the camera in there. What I like to do is twist my camera control lead. And before I twist it down in there, I'm just gonna run it out this way because I'm eventually gonna hook it up to my screen and um set up my camera so there's some stuff i don't like about the factory oh yeah and shout out to my boy luke for highly 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 recommending fox here i mean i know they make good cameras but i like i like to stick to one thing if i can all right i don't know what that is i'm it off. All right. Um, oh, and shout out to Luke for making this GoPro mount. That is a good man. All right, let's put this bad boy together so I can move on with my life. 
Do 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 Here we go. Here's a uh, Pinky Breast Cancer Awareness Drone V3, third generation. Sorry for the random cutscene, but my battery went dead on my GoPro. So we're gonna make this quick before it die again. Um, so there you have it. It don't have the camera on there, the um, GoPro camera, because I'm wearing it. And there is the analog feed. I don't like these edges because they're in the way of my camera, but that shouldn't be an issue. All right. Thanks for watching.